This video is made possible by Shaker & Spoon. Shaker & Spoon send out a cocktail box each month with all the ingredients you need to make bar quality cocktails in your own home. Get $20 off your first box by going to shakerandspoon.com forward slash top tens, link below. Now, before you go through your kitchen pantry and throw away food based on the expiration date, you should know that for certain foods, that is merely a suggestion. Some edible items never expire, or at least they can last for several years before it's time to dispose of them. The likelihood that you will actually need to keep your food around that long is slim to none, unless you're a doomsday prepper, of course. But you never know if we'll have a nuclear holocaust or a zombie apocalypse, so, you know, you'll want to be prepared for anything. And here are 10 foods that almost never expire. Number 10. Hardtack If you read old stories about pioneers and explorers, you may have already learned about a dried bread called hardtack. This food has been given several nicknames over the years, like sea bread or pilot bread because of the fact that it was often taken on very long journeys. It was also given to soldiers as part of their daily rations all across the world. Usually, people would dip this hardtack into their tea or coffee because it's got a pretty hard consistency that would probably break your teeth. So, just how long does this food last? Well, some say that they might actually be edible after even hundreds of years. In Denmark, there is a hardtack on display at the Maritime Museum of Kronborg from 1852, and it is yet to go moldy or disintegrate into dust. So, you can rest assured that if you add a supply of hardtack to your prepping kit, it will last you for the rest of your life. And if you're stuck in an underground bunker for multiple generations like in the Fallout series, maybe you could even hand down those rock-hard crackers to your grandkids. Number 9. White Rice Ah, rice. It's easy to cook, it's filling, and totally delicious next to some sesame chicken. Everyone knows that brown rice is much more healthy and nutritious, but it will only keep for four to six months before it goes bad. So, if your goal is to save money and stock your pantry for decades, you need to skip the brown rice at the grocery store and go for white. When white rice is kept in a cool, dry place in an airtight container, it's estimated that it should stay good for 30 years. Some preppers have speculated that if white rice is kept in the refrigerator or freezer, it can actually stay fresh forever. Rice is also easy to find in bulk. It's available at most grocery stores and big box stores like Costco and Sam's Club. Of course, in an apocalyptic scenario, you wouldn't have electricity to keep your rice lasting for multiple generations, but in your standard emergency situation like a blizzard or a hurricane, this will certainly come in handy. Number 8. Twinkies There is a long-standing rumor that Twinkies are like the cockroaches of the snack food world in that they will simply never die even after a nuclear holocaust. Well, it turns out that this is only half true. According to Hostess Foods, the official shelf life for a Twinkie is 45 days. This is actually longer than any of their other snack foods. However, plenty of people have left Twinkies in their pantries for years. Rave consumers have even reported that they still taste great even years after their expiration date. And it's for this reason they also make a great emergency food ration. In Blue Hill, Maine, a school called the George Stevens Academy has held onto a Twinkie since 1976. They believe that it still looks good enough to eat, even after being removed from its airtight packaging for decades. The outer layer does look a bit grey, but it's actually because it has been accumulating chalk dust in the classroom. Number 7. Spam Not everyone is a huge fan of the salty canned meat called Spam, but some people love it enough to eat it every single day. In Hawaii, Spam has even become a huge part of the culture. It is typically eaten together with fried eggs and rice as a hearty breakfast. During World War II, GIs who were stationed in Hawaii ate Spam because it did not require refrigeration and had a long shelf life. Between 1941 and 1945, Hormel Foods shipped 15 million cans to Allied troops around the world every single week. Now, when the war was over, most soldiers were happy to go back to eating food that wasn't from a can, but in Hawaii, many of their food rations came by boat, so the tradition of eating canned food with a long shelf life stuck long after the war was over. On their official website, Hormel basically insinuates that their canned meat will last forever. They say, The product is always safe to consume as long as the seal has remained intact, unbroken, and securely attached. However, the flavor and freshness of the product gradually begin to decline after three years from the manufacturing date. Number 6. Hard Liquor If the world truly has ended and you're stuck in an underground doomsday bunk for the rest of your days, you might just need a drink or seven. 
Luckily for you, hard liquor lasts forever. Distilled spirits like whiskey, gin, rum, tequila, and vodka will last a lifetime if they are still sealed. Just keep in mind that cream liqueurs don't last very long since they contain dairy. If there truly was an emergency situation, though, you need alcohol for more than just drinking. It's also handy in sanitizing objects as well as wounds. Wine also actually tends to taste better after it's aged, as long as it is corked properly and well cared for. Keep in mind that only sealed bottles will last, and that's if they're kept in a cool, dark, and dry place. But if it comes with a screw on top, wine will eventually turn to vinegar because oxygen can seep in through the top. If you're unsure, well, I'd recommend giving it a sniff before you drink it. And while speaking of liquor, well, today's video is brought to you by Shaker and Spoon. Now, I'm not going to mix up some cocktails in the office like Don Draper, so let's travel home through the magic of television, shall we? All right, so here I am in my kitchen. When you order Shaker and Spoon, this is what you get. You get a big box and there is a lot of good stuff in here. The rums of origin. So they give you this big card and within this thing, there are several recipes. I am gonna make, I'm gonna make this La Trova, but first, what's in the box? Got some, ooh, a cinnamon stick. Cafe CO2 syrup, coffee beans, scotch bonnet cease. That sounds delicious. This is pretty big. What is this? See, they ship, they really ship everything you need. You'd think, oh, coconut milk. I gotta go to the store to get that. No, you don't. See, look at that. Again, pure coconut water. You just have nothing to worry about. Ginger beer. I, 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 I am an enormous, this looks super good. I am an enormous ginger beer fan. I would drink this anyway. Again, this is another thing I would just have anyway. And then you got all these little things, you know, like the things that you can never buy that the bartender has, like bourbon and vanilla. There's loads of tiny stuff like this. Chocolate bitters. Fulnerum syrup. I don't even know what that is. Angostura bitters. Now, I gotta say, this is one of the ingredients that I already have. Orange oil. That sounds good. All of this stuff. One little box. And I believe you can make four of these. So it's like 12 overall, I think. If that's wrong, I will correct it on screen now. So let's make this, shall we? Rum, caffeato syrup, and the bitters. Where are my bitters? Bosh. Okay. And just strain that into there. And then you add a large ice cube. Now, personally, what I like to do is I keep a big block of ice in my fridge, uh, and then I use a knife to, to chisel it off, so I, th I think it's cool. It's got this spray, so I just like uh, give that a little zap. Finishing touch is to grate the coffee bean over the top of the drink. But all of that is well and good, but what really matters is how it tastes. Cheers. Shaker and spoon. It always delivers, it's that simple. Anyway, let's go back to the studio. So that's Shaker and Spoon. You can get $20 off your first box by going to shakerandspoon.com slash top tens. Thanks to Shaker and Spoon for the sponsorship, and let's crack on with the top five. Number five, instant coffee. At the end of the world, you won't be able to get your morning Starbucks fix. So if you're grumpy without your coffee in the morning now, just imagine what it would be like in a doomsday situation. And if you're indulging in too much of that hard liquor to ease the pain of spending eternity in a bunker, well, you're going to need that pick-me-up. Caffeine addicts are in luck, though, because instant coffee can last 2-20 to 20 years at room temperature. And if you keep it in a fridge or freezer, it can actually last for the rest of your life. Considering how terrible instant coffee can taste, you probably don't want to drink it plain. Never fear, though, because granulated white sugar keeps you about two years at air temperature and supposedly lasts forever if you keep it in an airtight and cool place. Powdered coffee creamer only lasts about 18 to 24 months, so you'd eventually have to go without cream in your morning brew. Number 4. Dry Pasta who doesn't love pasta? Plenty of people already eat some form of pasta multiple times in a week, and they wouldn't mind continuing that lifestyle in the case of an emergency. Dry pasta pops up as a common forever food on a lot of doomsday prepper lists on the internet. But before you run out to the grocery store to buy boxes of spaghetti in bulk, keep in mind that it will only last two to three years in your pantry. And yes, we know three years is still a very long time to keep food around, especially when it's something as delicious as penne or macaroni, but it's still a far cry from forever. The shelf life can be expended to eight to ten years if it is vacuum sealed and kept in a cool, dry place. However, you won't have much luck keeping around canned tomatoes or sauce. The shelf life on a can of unopened tomatoes is around 18 to 24 months. 
Number 3. Pemmican So far on this list, we haven't included any dried meats. And I'm sorry to say that your beef jerky will only last for around one to two years. But the Native Americans, they had meat preservation figured out years ago with their dried meat concoction called pemmican. The secret to its longevity is that both fat and dried meat are mixed together into a cake. The name comes from the Cree word pimi, which means fat. Now, you health conscious viewers out there, you might think that eating a lump of fat doesn't sound very appealing. But this became very popular among men working in the North American fur traders well as Arctic explorers who would go for long periods of time without finding any plant or wildlife. Eating fat is important to keeping energy levels high, and in most cases, this became a life-saving food. Pemmican is said to last three to five years at room temperature and up to 20 years if kept in the refrigerator. So basically, those Arctic explorers traveling in below freezing temperatures could keep eating their pemmican for as long as they needed. Number 2. Powdered Milk if you're trying to chow down on that hard tack we mentioned earlier, you just might want a glass of milk to dip it in. Now, as you all know, cow's milk typically only lasts throughout two weeks in the refrigerator. So, unless you happen to find a cow, you just might have to live without dairy, unless, of course, you stock some powdered milk. Full fat dry milk lasts two to five years, and non fat dry milk can last up to 20 five years. Just like every other item in this video, its shelf life is extended if you keep it in a cold, dry place, preferably the refrigerator. But if you have some sitting around and you aren't sure if it has spoiled, you'll certainly know when it's gone bad because it will smell of rotting milk. Please do keep in mind that this only counts for powdered milk, not dry baby formula, which only lasts for one year. Don't try to give a baby or a young child expired baby formula because it can have some serious consequences. Number 1. Honey Last and certainly not least on our list of forever foods is honey, which is the one food that truly may never expire. Honey has been found in clay pots that date back to the Egyptian times. The secret behind honey's eternal shelf life is its high sugar content. It's also very acidic, so bacteria doesn't have the chance to grow. Honey has been known for being a superfood with loads of health benefits. It's high in antioxidants, helps to suppress coughs, and has even been proven to help heal wounds and burns. And of course, honey is delicious, so it will also make your other food more palatable. If you're going to be in an emergency situation, you might as well enjoy a sweet treat whenever you can. So I really hope you liked that video. If you did, please do give us a thumbs up below. And don't forget to subscribe. Brand new videos just like this every day of the week. Also, please do check out our great sponsor, Shaker and Spoon. Find a link to them below. And as always, thank you for watching.